a vehicle has collided into the grounds of a primary school. Major collision investigation unit detectives are here on scene now processing it. Still in the really infinite, infinite stages of the investigation to understand what has occurred. What I can tell you at this point in time is that a 40 year old female has driven to the school to collect a child. After collecting the child, she's performed a U-turn and collided into the fence of the school, crashing through the fence, uh, where unfortunately she has struck a table where there were five children seated within the school grounds. Uh, very tragically and sadly, one of those children has passed away whilst being conveyed to hospital. Four of the other, the other four children have been conveyed to hospital, undergoing treatment for their injuries also. Um, at this point in time, as I say, the investigation's ongoing. We have major collision investigation here. The state coroner is currently here um, having an assessment of the scene and it's really infinite at the moment. At initial stages of the investigation to try to determine what has actually taken place. The 40 year old female is in custody. Um, she's been interviewed by detectives as we speak. Um, it's a tragic circumstance. It's really tough for everybody involved from the community, the school community, the locals, the first responders, AMBOs, for police. It's really tough. These events are always hard where there's, there's death and serious injury, um, but especially difficult when there's children involved. Um, so that's what I know at this point in time. I'm happy to take some questions. However, I will be limited in what I can say because the investigation is only just commencing. At this early stage, does this seem like a tragic accident? Again, I can't say if it's, but it appears it is a tragic accident, yes. It is all being conducted and all ongoing. Can you just confirm as well that primary school age child in the child I don't have those details with me yet, so. How is the 40 year old woman who you detected very tonight? She's uninjured and she's at, she's at Police Station now being interviewed. I haven't had a, an update yet in regards to her condition, her emotional state, or anything like that as yet. So. I wasn't here at the time, so I can't say how many people were here. Statements are being taken from lots of um, teachers, principal, um, witnesses, parents, everybody involved. It was around 2.30 in the afternoon, so. Was the woman at the school that she had a second child? I don't know the fine detail of uh, the amount of children that she has at the school. We'll be here as long as we need to be to conduct a thorough investigation to try to understand the full circumstances of what's taken place. Are you expecting any charges to be laid? It's too early at this point in time to tell. How are the members doing? They're getting there. They're uh, soldiering on. It's, a, as I said before, really tough scene, always when children are involved, but um, we'll put the support around them that we need to and uh, look after them as best we can too. All those statements are still being taken and we've got to go through all that with a fine tooth, fine tooth comb to understand the full extent of what's been seen and what's been witnessed. Was the woman a few uh, I believe so. This, uh, sorry, I don't know. I can't confirm that. So, um, The vehicle had a green P plate on it, but I don't know her licence status as yet. Are you hopeful that CCTV from neighbours might be able to help? We'll investigate every opportunity we have. CCTV, dash cam, witnesses, um, any footage, if anybody has anything, please come forward and assist us with our investigation. Did everyone inside that car, the driver and the child, able to extract themselves? I don't know the extent of how they've been extracted from the vehicle, but my understanding is that uh, there's no significant injuries to both the defending driver and the child in the car. And are your statements said that the woman suffered a medical episode? Is that... Still yet to be determined. Don't know the circumstances. Of well into the evening. Uh, for the scene processing, well into the evening, but the ongoing investigation will take days, weeks, months. And just a tragic accident for everyone involved? Pretty confronting for everyone? Confronting for everybody. Um, yeah, it's a tough circumstance when kids are involved. Adds that additional element to the scene. For the time that police need to be here, does the school need to be closed? The school's closed. We're engaging with the school Department of Education. All the parents, my understanding is all the parents of the school have been informed of the circumstances um, and obviously will engage with the school and continue to do that moving forward. Thank you. 
Uh, that'll be up to Ambulance Victoria to comment on, sorry. So my understanding is they're all being treated in hospital. Do you anticipate the school room really needs to be closed going into tomorrow and rest the That'll eventuate this evening, so we have to determine. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks very much.